Hi everyone, so uh, I'm here today to share with you something that has been working for me. I've been using it for the last, uh, let me think, about last two weeks and it's really working out well. So, um, I know it's only been two weeks and I am very organizational challenged. Um, I start a lot of things and then I don't continue it on. It's because it's so hard, it takes a lot of effort, and, um, you know, I get really exhausted, and I want to just go, oh, oh, I'll just do it later. Um, I, I, I call it my inner brat. You know, my inner brat wants to go, oh, let's just do it later. But I have to say that uh, September is always the new year for my organizational bug. It, I want to get organized, get the kids started off on a... Um, on, on the right foot, and myself and my family. So I'm back at it. I've been looking at all these Philofaxes, and I really want to get one, but it's so expensive. It's like a hundred dollars just for the actual um, the folder, file folder thing, the leather folder. So I decided that I was going to create my own version of it using the Martha Stewart five and a half by eight and a half uh, folders and a bunch of printables and I found this fantastic printable printable on Simply Organized Living, I think it is, and it's kept me so organized. Uh, my kids have to be out of the house by seven o'clock because they carpool with my dear, dear friend who started working full time um, as of September and she uh, go. She works in the city that my kids go to school. She has triplets, and her kids also go to uh, both the all-girls school that my daughter goes to and the all-boys school that my son goes to. So I'm very grateful and very lucky to have her in my life because she allows me the opportunity to have two hours from 7 till about 9 o'clock to just get my thoughts together, to organize my home, to go through my ch checklist and make sure that I've done everything. And it's made such a big difference um, so far. And I'm really loving it. So I hate sharing sometimes because I think, oh God, what if I don't continue it? You know, the whole judgment thing. And I really shouldn't care what people think. But I was born, I was raised to think to care what people think because my mother's always like oh well what are the people going to say <laughs> so um I'm trying not to but anyways I want to share this with you guys because if it helps any of you guys out then um th that's why I do these videos because if I'm able to help myself out and I'm able to help you guys out more the better all right so I'm going to take you to Staples with me and pick out all the stuff and show you how I print out um, the forms and show you the forms. And I'm going to give the binder to my uh, girlfriend, my dear, dear friend, who has done more for me than she actually knows. And I hope she uses it, uh, but if she doesn't, I'm sure she can use the binder for something else. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to show you my binder. And um, I'll show you uh, the things in it, but I might have to uh, edit this video a little bit if there's any personal information that I cannot share. And I hope you guys understand. But um, I just, I love this binder because it's small enough to fit in my huge purse. I love my huge purse. I carry everything. And um, it it it's what I go to uh, first thing in the morning and what I see last thing at night. Okay, so let me just turn this camera around. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so this is my Martha Stewart five and a half by eight and a half binder. And what I did was I got one of these book plates um, and stuck uh, it over this elastic and this is a smash book elastic that I got from Michaels 
And what I did in between is I actually just did a thin um, square of foam tape on each end to give it some room to be able to fit this elastic. And the reason why I um, added this elastic to this binder is because I was looking at the Domino Philofax and it has a string that goes around it just to keep everything secure so nothing falls out. And so I've done that and I, it's bonus that it matches this bluish Martha Stewart binder. But I love the quality of this um, binder. It's uh, very sturdy and um, I think it's going to hold that for quite a while. So let me just take this elastic off and as you see as I take it out it stays secure behind this book plate and it's working out quite well so far so um, now before I open it up I just want to tell you that I'm uh, using a combination of ideas from lots of places some of the stuff is from um, organized like Jen some of the stuff is ideas that I have on the web, on the on YouTube about Philo faxes. Uh, some of the things are my own idea. Uh, I also saw um, Audrey's Wife Life, I think. So I, I like I'm just too cheap to go out and buy something because I'm not sure if I'm gonna, you know, in a year's time, um, still be using this. I would wish that. And I would hope that I would, but you just don't know with me. I, I'm really good at starting stuff, and um, continuing on sometimes is a problem. So, um, you know, that's just me, but I'm not going to spend $100 on something that might sit in my room or on my desk, and I don't use it after a while. This here, this binder, was like $4.99, $5.99. That, if I, don't, if I don't use it, I feel better about hundred dollars I feel guilty so uh, let me just open it up and show you what I have in here um, I feel like I'm teasing you guys but before I start I just want you to know that I invested in this um, swing line hole punch and my camera is not uh, focusing but why I bought this was because it has adjustable hole punches and as you see what I did was I kept the middle hole punch the same and I moved uh, the end punches to the third um, slot closest to the center on each side and this allows me to punch any of my printables out and it fits in my binder sorry I turned on the light because I felt like it was um, not my camera wasn't focusing that well so in this pocket here, there's a pocket with a binder, and I love how this flaps. There's like a one and a half inch um, spine that isn't attached to the actual uh, binder, and so it, it's nice. It lays down nicely. So in the pocket, I put a bunch of coupons that I'm going to use um, so that I remember it. And then this here is a Martha Stewart uh pencil case and it has a little uh, ziplock thing to keep your pen secure. I have to say about uh, this, I'm, this is my second one. I'm going to try it out again but the first one that I had it actually ripped on the seams right here and I was really ticked off but I love the pencil case. I just hope this one is uh, sturdier than the last one. And then the next thing I have is um, the dual page, like dual section page protectors for Martha Stewart, and it has a, a flap to keep all of your stuff inside secure. And in it, I have uh, hole punch reinforcements and these uh, Martha Stewart re um, positional dew drop sort of things. And, I, and the, Martha's um, organized like Jen uses this. But what really um, got me thinking about purchasing it was uh, uh, Audrey's House Life because she uses it on in her file of facts. And I thought what I could do, um, well, I'll show you what I do because it's really helped me out. 
And then also I bought these repositionable uh, tab label things from Martha Stewart. And then um, also these little uh, tabs from Martha Stewart. As you can see, I love the Martha Stewart products because it's so pretty and it's so practical. And then I have a full page um, Martha Stewart page protector. And I also bought more of these dew drops because this one has um, seven colors. And um, I needed the extra colors because I sort of have all my system color coded. So this here is something new that I just uh, found out. Um, I located on the web uh, yesterday so I printed it out and what I did was um, I'll show you how I printed it but it, I was able to sort of print it on half a sheet and and I'm going to it's it's a budget thing I'm going to write down what I spend and I folded it a bit in the corner and I taped it with my glue gun on the bottom to uh, make a pocket to keep my receipts and I'm going to start writing down my expenses. Now, uh, these little flaps here, these little tabs, are from my previous, uh, like, organizer that I had. And the reason why I stopped using it was I found it too heavy in my purse, and I couldn't, it was just too heavy, and I couldn't stand it. So I took out the tabs because I liked them, and I'm using them in, my, in this current binder. Then there's just um, stuff from the old system and a calendar of the years. And then here is a, a new system that I'm trying out. So if I have a certain job that I want to do, like empty the trash bins on Monday throughout the house. Um, actually, I wrote it twice. <laughs> so I guess I could get rid of this. Um, like I said, I'm trying this out, so it's still a work in progress. And then um, I have stuff that I do on Tuesday and then Wednesday. And what I've done is I take them out and I put them on my page when I have things. So this will go in the, um, my next Monday so that I remember. And then when I'm done, I place it back here. This tab here comes from the Martha Stewart line again, and it's a plastic um, tab, which I like because then I can put all my re positional uh, tabs on this and it stays nice and clean and fresh and I'm able to make it last a bit longer I think. Okay so I have some timbers here and the, this is all messed up and I'm going to have to change that around but what I thought was um, you know these letter size pages well the width is five and a half so it fits perfectly sideways in this binder. So I printed this out and I printed it on cardstock because I want I want to highlight my month's um, calendar. And I folded it in half so that it would fit in my binder. And then I used my hole punch to punch on the side here so I can keep it. And as you see, I did, I used to um, have this in one of those uh, regular size binders and that's why they have their hole punched on the side here but I like this way better because I can take it with me so that's my monthly calendar and then uh, this here I got from uh, mommy's agenda I think or something I'll put all the links uh, on the video and it's a week uh, at a glance and what I love about this is it has like the kids activities dinner plans and notes and at first I was writing down like I would take these notes and put my daughter's schedule here and then my son's schedule here and then I thought well why couldn't I use these do drop repositional notes uh, put them on the day and then when I'm organ like I'm writing down stuff for that day like today's Thursday I can take it out and put it on the actual sheet and so, I'll show you that in a second. Um, this here is today. And as you see, here are my kids' activities under appointments. And so I don't have to write it out all the time. 
I have it here and then when that day is done I stick it back in my my weekly page and when I'm um, and I just swap it over for the next week so I don't have to rewrite this and I think that saves me a lot of time and then you see here it says empty the trash and I put it on here and once I've done it I can stick it back in here I still haven't got the system worked out very well but I, I think this is going to help me out and what I like about this page too is that it has um, how many glasses of water you drank and the meal plan actually let me show you an empty sheet so here so right away you have the date and then you circle what day your meal plan this is really helpful the top five lists because these are things that are super important that you have to do and this is important the little boxes for me when I tick it off it makes me happy <laughs> And so I need to tick it off. And so that really works for me. These little boxes really work. And the extra to-do column here. And that's been helpful. But the, these are things that are important, but not that important. But the most important thing here is these daily routines. And as you see, it has like make bed and pick up bedroom, get a shower and get ready, breakfast, upload, or sorry, unload, dishwasher and 15 minute pickup you know you wouldn't you would think this is just normal but um, breakfast that box is important because there are times where I do not eat breakfast and I need to be reminded to eat breakfast and because I have this need to tick off that box I actually eat the breakfast so that's been great and then mid-morning it has like catch up on email work on blogs follow up with clients saw any dinner items do a load of laundry and lunch well if you're working you can't do that so you have to um, do it in the morning and I'll do that sometimes I'll um, take it off in in the morning it just you have to adjust it to yourself right and then in the afternoon it says run errands house projects dinner prep fold laundry catch up on email catch up on voicemail that's important for me because sometimes I forget to listen to my voicemail and get mail and paper that's important too and all these boxes makes me want to do it because I want to tick it off. And then the evening, it says uh, dinner, 15-minute pickup, pack lunches. That's really important. Prepare for tomorrow, load dishwasher, work on blogs, respond to email and comments, pick out clothes for tomorrow, and write out top five. I love this. This has been really great, and it's free. And I love it, and it fits in this binder. And uh, it's really easy to print out too. So I have, what I do is I print out a lot and I stick it in one of these page protectors so I can just pull them out. And then um, I have this empty one. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I still haven't labeled my tabs yet. But this next tab here, it's a calendar that I printed out uh, for my daughter's um, school schedule. This is for September. Hers is so much thicker, so I have to do it one month at a time. And then this one is my son's, and this is for the whole year. And I just photocopied it from the parent handbook. And um, so that's good. And then this yellow one here is, um, I'm organizing two birthday parties, one for my niece and one for my son. And so I just have a bunch of notes that I'm doing. And the following one is... Um, this is that system. I'm working on this that system with the repositional tabs. And I gotta figure out what are important jobs that I want to get done on each day of the week. And I'm gonna do that. So once I figure it all out, I'll share that with you. And then this here is just uh, recipes that I tried. And I tried this one, this pasta with sausage and tomatoes. Loved it, and so I'm gonna keep it. Um, as reference. So I'm going to just start adding some recipes in there. And I might have to move it onto a different binder, but for now um, I don't have that many, so I can keep it here. And um, that's it. Like, I love this. There's a, also another um, pocket in the back here, and if I snip up a recipe or something, I can put it in there and then try it out. So this here is my binder. Um, it fits great in my purse and I'll show you. And I love this elastic because it keeps it all together and nothing falls out. 
And I got this at Michael's, and it's just a smash rubber band. But I'm sure you can find these rubber bands at Staples. I mean, it's just a large rubber band that um, I secured behind this book plate. And as you see, it's, it's awesome. I love it. So I, I'm going to get my make one for my girlfriend. And I think I'm going to get her the red one so she doesn't, so we have two different ones. <laughs> and see if she likes it. And if she doesn't, um, well, she can use it for something else. But yeah. So uh, hopefully this is all super helpful for you. Um, I'll take you along to Staples with me as I go and pick up the stuff. Okay, so this is my huge purse. And when I mean huge, it's like super big. I can fit my 17-inch uh, laptop in this like my hand is right here and it's like big <laughs> but I need it because I have a lot of junk I carry and um, I don't want to carry multiple purses so as you see I have tons of stuff but um, this binder here fits perfectly in here and lots of room still to put other stuff in but I carry it with me everywhere it's become my um, go-to for everything and so um, I'm gonna just we're gonna get going and I have to go to the store to pick up a laptop that I have to drop off somewhere and then uh, we're gonna go to Staples hi everyone so I decided to break the video into two parts because it was getting too long. And uh, what I've done is the next video installment will be me shopping at Staples and uh, the products that I used for the faux final facts and um, how I put them in the binder. And also I will show you the links to the websites with the free printable and how I cut up the paper to fit into my eight and a half by five and a half Martha Stewart binder. So thank you you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I am so excited for you guys to see this and if you guys try it out let me know how it works for you because I really uh, would love to, to see what you guys think. Take care.